Few modern cars have mastered the art of reinvention like the Porsche 911. For more than five decades, Porsche has continued to adapt, update and improve the rear engine layout, taking care not to weaken its core identity or the brand's driving experience. The upcoming Porsche 911 of 2025, which has the number 992.2 in Porsche parlance, continues its calculated evolution with the usual moderate design modifications and power upgrades, but the hybrid arrives for real in the form of AT hybrid powertrain in GTS. It not only includes an integrated starter generator but also uses an electrically powered turbocharger, which is why we review the more performance-focused and more expensive turbo or GT3 models separately. This video focuses on the standard 911 model, which includes the Carrera GTS. Although the Carrera T is lighter with an emphasis on performance, this class of 911 cars offers balanced performance similar to the Grand Tour. Always engaged, they can easily switch between intense and calm behavior, which makes them the most versatile 911 cars in the range. The beginning of this sports car, which painted glory at Porsche, was in 1963. The GTS version of this model was first made available in 2010, being the last version to be launched on the 911,997 generation, and it was powered by a rear-wheel drive system. The second version of the Porsche GTS cars was also the final version of the 911th generation 991.1. CAR 911,992.2 was the first version with turbocharging and not normal breathing. The 911,992.1 first got shock absorbers derived from the 911 turbo, and the car remained with a turbo engine. We are now witnessing a new date revealed in 2024 for the Porsche 911 GTS 2025. For the first time the GTS version is not launched as the last version in the Porsche 911 generation. It is also the first 911 hybrid in history. Its front end comes with vents that include gills that contain gates that open and close as needed, and it has two optional circles under the number plate, on the right representing interactive radar, and the second on the left representing night vision. The car has completely new lights with HD matrix technology. It is possible to optionally order the car with a carbon ceramic brakes, with a 420mm disc brake and 10 pistons at the front, and a 410mm disc brake and 4 pistons at the rear. It comes with 20-inch front rims and 21-inch rear rims. Down to the rear, distinguish if the sports car is powered by an all-wheel drive system. There will be a 4 GTS designation, but if the GTS alone is a rear-wheel drive car, and this sports car comes with exhaust exits in the middle, a regular Carrera car exhaust exits come sideways. Car interior. I got an integrated digital meter screen and abandoned the meter system which was criticized by some customers for the driver's inability to see details without moving his head while driving due to the steering wheel. The digital screen contains seven options that the driver can switch between in terms of designs. From behind the wheel, the experience remains unchanged. The guidance is communicative. The eight-speed dual clutch behaves like a professionally trained German shepherd and never barks or ignores the command. 911 is a round, close-knit compartment that brings happiness to every mile. This is difficult to price, but Porsche did it as you would expect. The 911 car has become more expensive, now it starts at a price of $122.095. There is not much competition at this price point. You can get a V8 engine either by undercutting it with a less expensive Chevrolet Corvette or spending a slightly larger amount on a Mercedes AMG GT55. Or try to find a Lotus Amira or one of the few. The engine. Based on a six cylinder boxer 3 liter engine with twin turbocharging of 394 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque, it accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3, 7 seconds and has a top speed of 294 km per hour. The Carrera base should weigh just under 3,400 pounds, and Porsche says the car is 0.1 seconds to 60 miles per hour faster. 